What's good, folks? Reds here. Back to the uh, Badger reviews by a new series. Today we'll be reviewing this Macedo shaving. This is a 30 millimeter fan to band find us. Purchase this on eBay. Um, direct from China, $55.98 shipped. Arrived in about uh, 12 days, I think it was. And uh, Macedo shaving has been around since 1980, according to the logo here. Um, I couldn't really find much else about it on eBay. I mean, excuse me, on Google, but I did find their store on eBay. And as always, I'll link that below if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, in this in this series, we've been comparing knots to other knots. So for tonight's comparisons, we'll be using the uh, Maggot Razors Two Band Finest, the Elite Razor uh, Manchurian, as well as the Sterling Two Band Finest. So in terms of density, um, I'd say the Maggards is uh, slightly more dense than this. Um, the Elite Razor and the Sterling are a bit less dense than this. So this is like second place in terms of those three. Um, in terms of stiffness, this is um, as stiff as the Maggards and uh, stiffer than both the Elite and the sterling um it does not hog lather like some thick dense um 30 millimeter brushes will uh, i found it very easy to release the lather when when using it on the face um really really happy with that it, it makes the learning curve for me very very uh, short despite the uh Stiffness and backbone and density of this brush. Um, the tips are extremely soft and it really gives you a nice premium feeling, luxury feeling, if you will. Um, in terms of luxury, I'd say this is um, slightly less luxurious than both the Maggards and the Elite, but it's slightly more luxurious than the uh, Sterling. All three comparative knots are very similar in terms of, you know, overall feel. They really three nice knots plus this. Um, <clears throat> I'm very happy with this knot. This was recommended to uh, add to the series by several YouTube viewers, and they uh, have not disappointed me with this recommendation. I've been using this brush on and off for a few weeks now. One note about the brush. Uh, the defunking process took a bit longer than normal, and I was encouraged by a uh, friend of mine, Scott Turner, to use Dawn soap to try to lather this up, and that really helped that process along quite a bit. So I did some Dawn soap lathers, and I uh, even did a Dawn soap lather overnight, let it dry out in the brush, and then rinsed it out, and really took it a long ways. The water was quite brown on the first soaking, but we've moved past that and uh, very nice results. The uh, fibers didn't dry out or anything, no need to condition the, the brush at all once we did that Dawn soap uh, bath, if you will. All right, so overall, I'm really impressed with this knot and uh, really like this brush. This is the uh, Faux Tortoise. Um, I believe it's available in ivory or Faux Ivory, um, a white version, and this Faux Tortoise. So, Tortoise, excuse me. So, check them out if you're uh, interested. I wouldn't call this a budget brush because 60, well, 56 bucks isn't short money, but. Um, I do think it's quite affordable in the uh, overall grand scheme of things. This reminds me quite a bit of using a uh, Simpsons Chubby 3. Um, maybe not the Manchurian, but it's pretty darn close and uh, quite a bit less expensive. So I'm, I'm really happy thanks to the uh, viewers who recommended this for me. As always, thumbs up the video if you liked it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.